Hello, hello everyone. Today, we, the student of Thapri University, present our project on security system for DNS using cryptography. And let me tell you the material. Here is the block diagram for our project, and later we will tell you how we have implemented it. And you can screen, see on the screen that this is the data. On this data, for signing purpose, we will apply the hash function that is SHA3 and we will get the hash value. Then we will encrypt this data using private key. We will get the signature which is very much secure by using DSC algorithm. Then we will get the digital signed data. As you can see, on the other side, we will do the verification of our data which we are sending on the receiver side. Here, you can see that we will do the decryption by using the public key and here is the hash value which we will get and this is the data. We will apply the hash function on it and, when, and we will get the hash value. If this hash value matches with the ha this hash, which we have done by DSC algorithm. If these hashes are equal, the signature is valid. Now let me tell you the implementation of our project. We have used the tool NetBeans. My partner will explain you the rest of the implementation. First you will have to open login file, device file and receiver file. These are the three windows. Now enter username and password here and click submit. After submitting, sender window will be displayed. Here you will have to enter sender name, sender password, receiver name and click send. This will take you to the transaction window. You can see a text box here to write a message. Write a message and click send button. After that key is created, click OK. Now signature is generated, click OK. Here you need to enter system name for domain 1. Enter name and click OK. Now you can see the signature value here. Enter values. Now click send. Here, enter the system name for domain 2 and click OK. Now, check the receiver window. Fill the sender name and receiver name and click Open button. Signature is verified and receiver accepts the data from domain 2. Here is the message received. That's all about our project. Thanks for watching.